Hey everyone, welcome back to Sluice Investigate. In this video, I'm going to be covering a cold case involving a young father who lost his life at the very young age of 22. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and also don't forget to like and subscribe. Born on October 29th, 1983 to Richard and Denise Livingston in West Frankfort, Illinois, Ryan Lewis Livingston was a creative, mischievous, and very loving person. He never met a stranger. He was the middle child out of three boys and grew up in a modest town. Ryan was a natural entertainer and had a knack of striving to make his family and friends laugh. He was full of life no matter what. He also had a compassion for art. It was noted he was inspired by his art teacher to submit one of his favorite pieces of work to the Scholastic Art Awards. As a result, he earned one of five Best of Show awards in that show. Ryan had a compassion and love for music. He was described as having an old soul. His favorite era of music to listen to was from the 70s and 80s. His most favorite song was Burning For You by the Blue Oyster Cult. He also had an interest and respect for the Vietnam War and for veterans. In January of 2004, Ryan proudly became a father to a beautiful baby girl. He loved his daughter more than anything in this world. In November of 2005, he had an eye-opening experience when he was charged with manufacturing or delivering cannabis. He realized then that he needed to buckle down because his little girl was the most important thing in his life. Thursday, July 13, 2006 was a normal warm summer day. Ryan had attended a bluegrass concert on the steps of Shy Rock Auditorium. Blue Ground Undergrass was the main act that played that evening. Sometime around 9 p.m., Ryan got into a car with his friend to go to the friend's house on East Park Street. It was noted he spent roughly 20 to 25 minutes there. He then left his friend's house by foot and headed northwest towards his brother's house on Oakland Avenue. Sometime between 10 and 10.30 p.m., Ryan was approached by two unknown assailants who were possibly trying to rob him according to law enforcement. They ended up beating and stabbing Ryan. Ryan's older brother was expecting him after the concert. Around 10.30 p.m., he phoned his brother to see where he could be. Ryan answered his phone, pleading to his brother for help. He explained that he had been beaten, but due to his injuries, he wasn't able to go into detail about the attack. His brother dialed 911 around 10.38 p.m. Sadly, it took first responders around 15 minutes to get to Ryan. One of the first police officers to arrive on scene didn't notice anything particular of the scene other than the fact that Ryan was badly injured and was losing a lot of blood. Ryan was transported to Memorial Hospital where he was taken into surgery. He was drifting in and out of consciousness afterwards. The police officer was able to speak to Ryan and asked who attacked him. Ryan explained to the officer that the two males were African American. One of them was wearing a backwards hat and the other had a light complexion. While evaluating him post-surgery, doctors discovered Ryan's heart had been pierced during the attack. He was rushed into emergency surgery, and heartbreakingly, Ryan succumbed to his injuries and passed away at 1.51 a.m. on Friday, July 14th. Ryan's autopsy report showed that he had died from a fatal stab wound to the left of his chest, which resulted in the lower left lobe of his lung and left ventricle of his heart being pierced by the knife. The toxicology report stated he had no illegal substances in his body and his blood alcohol content was below the legal limit. During the investigation, law enforcement discovered that a Jimmy John's delivery driver was robbed and on July 21st, a couple walking near an intersection was also robbed. Both locations were only a few blocks from where Ryan was murdered that same year. Sadly, with little to no information, no suspects have been arrested. Through the years, his family has never given up hope in finding answers on why. This July 14, 2020, will mark 14 years since Ryan was taken too soon. If you have any tips or information on his case, please call 618-457-3200 or call the Crime Stoppers tip line at 618-549-2677.